And if you see a whack artist, do more than boo him. Throw him off the banister. Shoot him on camera. Then kill his manager. Then hang a banner up. That reads you can't proceed without being conceived by one album of the 90s. <laughs> In a world where one has places to go, people to see, and money to make, how does one find time to get all of it done? See, this is The Hustle for Show, and my name is Ryan Vernon. And, you know, recently I had activities happen in my life that happened recently. And, you know, first days first, you know, shout out to the hottest rapper out right now. Go ahead, check out KK. You know, if you're not peeped to his music yet, then I feel bad for you at this point. But recently I was at Coachella. And I heard about this new artist named Toby and, you know, I had to give him streams like I'm downloading his music off of LimeWire. So I just want to throw that out there first. Um, but yeah, welcome to the channel again. You know, shout out to Consistency. Shout out to the five E's. Where are the five E's? Engineering, entrepreneurship, education, entertainment. And that last E, I guess we'll just call it the ego. But yet talking about the ego... At times, I feel like I'm being choked. Because in a way, it's the idea of we have goals for the year. Last year, season two, the goal was consistency. But this year is growth. And in the way we know how to grow, we just got to put in the steps to grow. And inertia, there's so much resistance to movement, yet you sit down and go, wait a second, how do you set a goal? We talked about it in season two. I'll just throw a little tab at the top that talks on how to set a goal, taking an idea, putting a plan to that idea, taking actions in order to turn a dream into a reality. Yet, when I think on season three, how do you create sustainable goals in order to grow when I think about me and my past, I've seen organization grow, but then you have to reflect and be like, wait, that didn't happen overnight. So when I think about the channel now, the first goal is, you know, to get the P's and Q's aligned. The idea of, you know, having the thumbnail for the video, making sure the website is up to date, ah, posting on IG. I'm going to get that in line, yet yeah, give me by episode six. That way I can actually put things into place. And then now by episode six being around, that should be a go. And now the season of growth. Well, growing, what does growing entail? For me, to start off with just a small goal in order to like keep going with that in a way to keep snowballing off of that. Let me just start with 100. Right now we're at 59 subscribers. So if you are subscribed, you know, shout out to you. And if you're not, feel free to subscribe to the page. Like or dislike the video, depending on your preference. I'll see everything, but you won't see the dislike. Tragic. And leave a comment in the comment if you want to gauge with the channel. With this video, you know, go ahead and leave a goal that you're trying to pursue in this year, in the time period that you're setting for yourself. Because, you know, as a hustler, how are you progressing in this world? And if you did what I did, you think someone else digs what I, will dig what I do, you know, go ahead and share the video. Yet, that's an initial path of taking now, going from 59 subscribers and then getting to 100 by the 10th episode. And if I did the math right, that's the 100th video. So... That'd be kind of cool. In a way, let's overcome this inertia and let's actually get the ball rolling and keep moving towards a goal. How do you set sustainable goals? At times I feel like my voice is taken from me, yet taking steps in order to, at the end of the day, make sure that we're hustling with a purpose. I could take your ears all day, but let me just leave you with this. Keep hustling, y'all. Keep hustling. Peace.